Once again, I'm dealing with another situation where my son has left out the door and ran away in the middle of the night. Now the police is bringing him to my house. I just don't know what to do. The system is broken and there's no help out here for us. Parents, single parent, I'm crying out for help. All right. I'm not signing it. Okay. I'm, I'm not signing no ticket for no child that ran away at my door. And if I called y'all and told y'all, y'all tell me that I gotta wait 48 hours. I'm not signing no ticket. Then once that man shows you, been, he been showing you who he was, but then he really shows you, now you want the system to help and the cops to help. And it's like, we gotta start taking accountability. So I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't know his dad was a, a F boy and he changed, his, he changed up on you. Okay, cool. Have you been doing all of the thing? Because again, I know people whose whose sons are stone cold. I don't want to call them criminals, but they know what type of kids they are. Come on, sis. Shall we go to the next one? Quattro, go to go to go to Quattro. I got. Mm. Quattro. Let me tell y'all something. You know how many weeks we we are like. <laughs> Episode 107, and she finally got the goddamn Spanish <laughs> right. You know how long it took her to get the Spanish right? Hey, hey. I'm I'm learning in progress. This is in progress. I'm still learning. Are you ready? Always ready. Yeah, it is. No, it's not Miss Spicy it Habanero. Is. Don't even be bringing that back, Jalil. That was oh. that was CJ's word. Let's we, go. We ain't going with Once again, I'm dealing with another situation where my son has left out the door and ran away in the middle of the night and the police is bringing him to my house. I just don't know what to do. The system is broken and there's no help out here for us. Parents, single parent, I'm crying out for help. All right. I'm not signing it. Okay. I'm, I'm not signing no ticket for no child that ran away at my door. And if I called y'all and told y'all, y'all tell me that I gotta wait 48 hours. I'm not signing no ticket. Who said that? You know how many times I done went through this? Who told you that? The police done told me that. I'm not signing no ticket that I got to pay for. You're not waiting for 48 hours. Not true. Yeah, they tell me wait 48 hours to be able to do a runaway. I'm not signing no ticket I got to pay for. You're not, you don't have to do that. You can call, call 911 and report that immediately. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not signing that. I, I understand. I refuse to sign that because let me show you something. I've been looking for him all night. I'm not signing it. Like, okay. I'm not even going to. I, I refuse to accept that ticket. Okay. I mean, it's still, it's still going to be under you. That that just crazy, y'all. Y'all system messed up, like the system messed up. And you, as a black man, and that little black boy in the car, y'all gotta do better. You sit here handing me a ticket for a child that ran up at my door, and now I'm being punished. What you mean? I don't call y'all. You call you, I don't, you, how, how, you know how many times I don't call y'all? Last night. No, I did not call y'all last night. I don't call y'all a thousand times, I and I keep getting the same answer. I just picked him up from the cap county jail last week. And I keep getting the same answer, and I'm getting punished for this. This boy keep running out my door. Now I gotta accept this ticket. I don't. I don't accept that. I understand. You don't have to accept it, but it's still a ticket. You still getting a ticket. Like I'm getting a ticket for what? For your child. For your child being. Out. I got three kids too. So you. So you got three kids. Yeah. So you. My, un, so my you child understand. Is running around at nighttime, I'm getting in trouble too. So but I'm why gonna... I'm getting in trouble for an unruly child? When Listen, when they gonna could've... start being held accountable? Uh, call now. I mean, it's a child. You got to be the parent. Like I said, I'm not sure how to, how you parent your child, but I have to parent my children. When my children act up, I have to do the same thing. What What you do? Because if the, you know how many times I don't call you, you want to come in my house. You Listen. Got a yeah, and you probably got a mother in the house with your child as well. Right. Your child got a mother at home as well right it's what? a no 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 but nothing you don't you I mean, don't know what, I mean. what i'm what? going through no i got a son that don't bust my 80 inch tv in there i don't okay. call y'all 20 times go look in the system and every time i'm being held accountable when this when he not doing what he's supposed to i don't text him a thousand times i went out looking for him mm -hmm. i said send me the address here i come he's not he's not responding back Bring your ass home. In the now future, I'm being punished. In the future, you can call 911 if your child runs away. It's no 48 hours, nothing. That's what they told me last time. I'm like, not sure who told you that. You call, ask for a supervisor. You can report a child immediately. As soon as your child walk down, leave your eyesight, you can call 911 and report a missing. I'm not sure where you got that information from. So now I'm being punished because he want to keep running up at my call, door. Like I said, next time your child runs away, call 911. 
That that just crazy. The system like messed said, up, and you as a black man, we can you like yeah, because it's man. real. You a black man. Parents you know the system. What you mean, parents? Parents got to be, gotta be what? Held responsible for their children. What you mean? If, if he unruly and I keep, I keep listen. I, I don't cry out for him. I understand. I keep crying that, out for him. That part needs to be fixed. You're, you're absolutely correct, but at the same time, you also got to be held responsible for your child. So if I so if I beat his ass right now in front of you, what you gonna do to me? You said beat his ass. Yeah, because. He he disrespected me. He walked out my door without my permission. He busted my TV. You, you gonna lock me you, up, right? How you handle your, your your business as a pair, as long as it's not excessive, you can you have the right to discipline your child. So you tell me that, but another you police have, officer come, they gonna lock me up. Your child, you have the right to discipline your child. Like I said, as long as it's not excessive, long as you ain't trying to kill your child. You have this George. You got the right to discipline your child. Now, but the last lot of police officer told me if I beat him, they gonna lock me up. I'm, I'm not sure what anybody else has told you. I'm, I'm telling you, you can call the police immediately when your child run away. You got this is the state of Georgia. You got the right to discipline your child. Y'all just don't understand what it is to be a single mother. You no, you don't. You're not doing boys. it alone. You probably got, I got a three boys, and one of my boys got in trouble with the law. So what you mean? I don't understand. I definitely understand. But you giving me a ticket for a child that is obviously a ruler that I, I, I don't call the thousand times. Like I said, so now I got to find a way to pay for I'm these not, tickets. I understand. I'm looking. That's not. I feel for you on that because I didn't stop the kid. I didn't stop your son. I'm just, just dropping your son off. I, got, I just got here. I just got to work, so I don't even know the whole situation. You, you f taking your frustration. And I'm not, me. but I'm just saying, as a mother, like y'all not gonna be satisfied to these boys laying in the street, or they done did no, something to somebody. We trying to avoid. No, y'all not not let them get if back out the car and come back in the house. He, he gonna do it again. No, he ain't learning want, no lesson. You want your boys to go to? Put, you want your boys to be into, institutionalized at 14 Baby, years listen, old? Baby, guess what? Look, she's uh, saying, look, you're a black uh, man, y'all. Take him to, her, to his house. Uh, uh, let me see. I mean, from <laughs> from working in this field, well, that field, one, you have to be a parent. Yes. Two, and he's just doing move. his job. Three, you are responsible for your child. And I'm going to tell you what my belief is. I believe that the it takes a village to raise a child left years ago because too many parents said, don't talk to my child. Mm -hmm. You can't talk to my mm -hmm. child like that. Oh no! Don't and do you that. Got too many that's parents when that's the trying village to be said, this. "Fuck your kid." Right. You got too fuck many parents that's trying to be kid. these kids' friends, yeah, you, and that's why these kids listen, act the way that they do. Listen, let me tell you something. I, I'm gonna tell you this now. I, not all single mothers, but damn, for a lot of these single mothers are raising criminals. They are raising criminals. These boys are too emotional. I said it years ago. Men ain't men anymore because a lot of them are raised by single mothers and i'm not putting the blame on mothers or or the fathers I mean, because a lot, not a lot of fathers in the household because of circumstances or this and that a mother some mothers got to do what they got to do but yeah, yes but also at the end of the day okay and and i know i'm a little different yes i did raise my sons my sons don't get in no trouble at the end of the day i made sure to surround my sons with positive male figures in programs or just people in general that I knew that was going to teach them to try to be like men. Yes, of course, at some point they're going to, you know, you know, venture out into the world and, and try to do some other things. They're not perfect. But at the end of the day, I can honestly say my kids have always been around positive people. Like if I if I can't show you how to be a man, let me put you in the arms or the vicinity or in a community of men that can mm -hmm. teach you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I feel her pain. I understand, but like, it just gotta be a deeper. Again, it's it's just it's hard for me to put it put like put it in perspective. But it's like, how we keep having all these kids by dudes that's not showing up? I don't. That's the part I don't get. It's just like we didn't seen this movie a million times, and I'm not saying that this is her circumstance, but it's like, huh? Like you want this man to be accountable for your kid? Yeah, Where's his father? That's crazy. You talking about but all you your tell him, the take system? Him, the system like, is broken. Where's his father? You didn't say not one word about him, and it's just weird to me that it's like all these men are being these, these uh shining examples of men, and then all of a sudden you have a kid and they're gone. That don't make sense to me. It's like some of y'all out here having babies by bums. Some of y'all out here having babies by guys that y'all yep, know are not yep. responsible. And then once that man shows you, been he been showing you who he was, but then he really shows you, now you want the system to help and the cops to help. And it's like, we got to start taking accountability. So I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't know his dad was a, a F boy and he changed, his, he changed up on you. Okay, cool. 
Have you been doing all of the things? Because again, I know people whose whose sons are stone cold. I don't want to call them criminals, but they know what type of kids they are. Right. And they enable the BS right. over and over and over. And now he's unruly. And now you want everybody to help you. And it's like, well, you seen this when he was 11. Right. And you didn't say nothing. Oh, not my son. He didn't do this. And I, I but now yeah, he's so 16. He's out of control. And now, now you want the cops to get him up. It's like, come on. Man, you, at that point, he's already used to doing what he's doing. You got to be, you got to be accountable as, as a parent, no matter what. You just have to be accountable. If the other thing is, is like, uh, in addition to the programs, you have all these different, I know here in Pennsylvania, like we have like different boarding schools, like um, it's a school called Hershey. Then they got the military academy. And then it's like Valley Forge, like stuff like that can help instill that discipline in them, in them children. Not to say that to make someone well, else teach or, or raise your child. But if you feel as though like you're, you have no more control left, Instead of the the system or the, in the streets having your son, let's let another agency have your well, child well, well, that let me, can actually put well, them in me, the right place. Let, let me add: a lot of those programs have shut down because of funding. Um, a lot. I, I don't know how about what other cities, but in in Philadelphia, our city have cut the funding, so they had to shut down. So we don't have those type places anymore, Slayton except Farms, only Glenn Mills, only Mark. if you catch a charge. Like they, Glenn Mills is closed. Yeah. So Slayton now, Farms, now, all them closed. now, if the child catches a charge, then he can go to a secure facility. Mm -hmm. But by then, it's already too late. It's for too late. Her. Yeah. It, it's too late. So you really, I, my theory, and I do this with with my children is my foot is on a net twenty four right. seven. And I guarantee you, they will thank you in the long run Look, when they get my older. Kids, they be like, Mom, well, you, so, that neck, you so strict. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But you know what? Let me tell you something. You won't have that discipline by the time you and the dough and you going to know what to do was right. B b the difference between right and between, wrong. Between right and wrong. So let, let, let's go to the comments. So first comment says, <laughs> oh, now this one's raw diggity. Put the, <laughs> put the energy you put into these videos into your child because trying to go viral won't save your child's life. The Internet is the devil and i, I always say Ooh. this and again i understand if you are if you are the single parent and you got multiple kids it's hard to you know give them all their individual attention i get that but if you have the time like a lot of people come home and they just sit their ass on the couch they on tiktok instagram doing all this them kids and you, no ain't, you ain't you ain't you ain't poured into them children at all right. so now you think at 13 he's supposed to just listen to you because you're the parent they know like in front of the tv what did you yeah. what did TV you do to try to, to keep them, them keep them occupied and again the one thing about a parent is it's the hardest job and it gives you the least reward right but it is what it is and it's so seven. when you yeah. want to be you don't most of us don't want to be sitting on a football field at 8 30 at night on a tuesday and in the cold you, after you done did after you done 10 hours of work yeah. or you don't want to be sitting uh, uh watching uh uh plies being done a hundred times in a row because your daughter's doing dance and she and they, her team got to get it right and it's saturday morning at eight o'clock right and you up and you like no most of us don't want to do that but you know it's in the best interest of your child mm. so at the end of the day parenting is sacrifice and a lot of people don't want to sacrifice. They don't sacrifice. Their time. They don't yeah. sacrifice. Where, where do you try to correct it before it gets to that point? Because at some point, let's just say if the child, and she said her son was 15, at what point did you see that he was acting up or displaying those behaviors somewhere maybe like around 10, 11, that you could have <laughs> fixed it? See, that's listen, what I'm saying. Like, listen. you don't just hold come on, out hold of hold nowhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me give a quick, quick shout out to Rhonda now for subscribing. Shout out to Welcome Rhonda. to the party, Rhonda. Yeah, man. My right son, on. my son was four years old. He was like a regular daycare kid. All of a sudden, oh, we got another. Hold on, we got another subscriber. Make that shit out to Andy oh, real quick, man. We got Andy real quick. Andy, Andy. Andy. welcome to the party, Andy. Andy. But like, my son was four years old. He was he was regular daycare kid. He started wilding out after for some reason. He was just like. The, t uh, the, the t daycare teacher calling us. Oh, he's doing this. He's flipping chairs. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? We took him to a therapist to see, like, was it something wrong? Was it us in the house? Maybe seem me and his mom arguing or something. Yeah, and sometimes when kids acting out, they acting out for a reason. And it just was because the teacher at the school 
was was he ain't like her and she just was not a good person to a four-year-old she was too old to be acting the way she was but we went to the to, to the length of getting him a therapist because we like listen we want to see what is the issue we didn't just let the behavior oh he just four he be going yeah. change like no you got to put the effort forward so jamil yeah, and, and, said and, and, these and, and, kids are going to do what they want to do anyways you can teach them guide them give them opportunities out the wazoo they still going to do what they want i agree with that to an extent <laughs> put that, put that neck, to an extent because the the reason why i say it is like you gotta you gotta have that Go discipline the and the main thing i guess what really helped me when it came to my kids is consistency it ain't no such thing as i'm your friend yes you know yes i may be you know close in your age because i did start having kids young but at the end of the day i'm not your friend i'm your mother so and i'm going to always have that consistent that's consistent parenting and that's what saved me with my kids because at the end of the day yeah you can have your little attitudes but my kids respect me and they know i don't play them games yeah, y'all hear that so let's go to the second comment so the second comment second comment says he's doing his job do yours <laughs> he ain't the father <laughs> yeah like the way that, the way that she was saying like uh y'all need to get him and all it's like miss which where i'm supposed to take him to my right. house yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. right what you want me to do i'm doing my <laughs> right. job but yeah I mean, look i'm just look, gonna adopt your child look, like, what? he said i just started work i don't even know what <laughs> yeah. happened yet like, listen here, girl. i ain't in the mood for this bullshit my <laughs> shit just start god damn it like so, come uh, on like, so, look, so, so last comment says <laughs> last comment says exactly why i'm strict on mind i have three boys and right that's why i said you got to put your foot yes, on a neck again no matter how much it hurts i was 16 i was um feeling myself after uh, i had um uh i had partaked in the the, the devil's nectar as a, as a youth um a young lady that was way older than me uh provided me with a, a sample of some some uh peaches and uh <laughs> damn. It kind of had me like losing my mind. I was doing stuff that I had never done before. And my mom was like, listen, at the end of the day, you think you a man? Get out. Go ahead. Do your thing. I ain't, I'm not going to argue with you. I ain't going to beat you up. Do your thing. And so it was like, she gave me an ultimatum and it kind of changed my thought process. And that was the last straw for her. So it's like, I just don't be understanding like, People just be allowing their kids to do whatever and say and whatever. That's why they do it. From because if they gate. start allowing it, they they're going to continue. So if that's what the kid is used to, or is that if that's what the child is used to, that's what's going to continue. That's their norm. Yeah. I always say, like my last point is like, when you a parent, guess what? When you get on punishment, when you put a kid on punishment, guess what? I'm on punishment too. So you think I want to be here? <laughs> right. Like, but damn, yeah, I'm gonna teach him. Go out. <laughs> you all in my face. I yeah, I'm gonna set you. Yeah, and make sure you yeah. don't go nowhere. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. well, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all, and, and subscribe. tell us what you think. Goddamn. Welcome to all the new subscribers out there. Yes, yeah.